When you meditate, you close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch your breath all the way in, all the way out. You want your mind to stay with one object, because it's a matter of learning how to get the mind under some control. Otherwise, it just wanders around like, like a hobo and hops from one train to another train, another train. You have no idea where you're going to end up. And if you go back and try to look at your trains of thought, you're sometimes amazed at how you zigzag to where you are. And if your mind is like that, then it can create a lot of trouble. It'll start thinking things you don't want to think at times when it's really not the right time. So you want to get some control here. So make up your mind you're going to stay with the breath, because the breath is a anchor in the present moment. When you're with the breath, you know you're right here in the present moment. You're not off someplace else. And you can make the breath comfortable. You can start off with a couple of good, long, deep, in and out breaths. If long breathing feels good, you keep it up. If not, you can find what rhythm and texture of breathing you like. Shorter, faster, slower, heavier, lighter, deeper, or shallow. This is your space in the present moment. You have the right to make it what you want it to be. And the breath is a convenient tool for that. If you find yourself slipping off, just drop whatever the thought that is, and you'll be right back at the breath. You don't have to pull back or anything. Just drop the thought, and here you are. Each time you come back to the breath, reward yourself with a breath that feels really good. That'll be your encouragement to stay here, to have some control over what you're doing. Now, in the course of daily life, you'll have to think about other things, but right now you want to learn how to just focus on one thing that's restful for the mind, nourishing for the mind, nourishing for the body. Because after all, the breath is the force of life. If the breath feels good through the different parts of the body, then it's going to be good for the organs of the body. When the mind has a comfortable place to stay in the body, it's more willing to stay here. That way you can observe your mind more carefully. Because the tricks the mind plays on itself to go running off, it's like a burlap bag gets suddenly placed over your head and you get carried off, and then the bag is taken off and you find yourself someplace else. Then the bag gets placed on your head again and you're off someplace else. What happens in between, you don't know. The mind has this way of diverting its attention. just blacking out for a little bit. So you want to be able to see all the way through. When you change from one thought, you want to see the whole process. And when you come back to the breath, you want to see the whole process. So you can understand. If an unskillful thought comes up, i.e. one that creates unnecessary suffering, you know how to take it apart, because you've seen how it was put together. You've seen all the steps. And you see that best by being anchored here in the present moment with the breath. So that anything that pulls you away, you know immediately, okay, something's up. And sometimes the breath itself will give you a little warning. There's a little tightness or a knot in the breath. If you sense that, okay, just breathe through it. Otherwise, that could turn into a thought. This way you're more in control. Instead of being pushed around by your thoughts, you can push your thoughts around. In other words, you can push them in a direction that you know is skillful, that will be good for you and good for the people around you. So take some time here to get to know your breath, and in the course of that you'll also get to know your mind. Get some control over your mind so that you're in charge. And It's because the, the mind is what shapes your life. If you're in charge of your mind, then you're a lot more in, shape of your, in charge of your own life. Things don't push you around the way they used to. You take a more proactive stance to what's happening in the world, at what's happening inside. And as you get more sensitive to these processes, you can become more skillful in finding ways that lead to well-being both for yourself and for the people around you.